Hi guys, it's Alexa from The Pursuit of Fashion and I wanted to welcome everybody into November and where I'm at we had our first day of snow. I don't know how I feel about that but I did want to take this video and look back into some of the things I really liked that I used or enjoyed in October. Unfortunately I really didn't have a fashion item. I do have a pair of shoes but I really don't have something that I wore all the time in October so I do just want to jump right into it and start by saying that one of my favorite things this month is my grandpa. He actually passed away and I just wanted to take this to kind of commemorate him and he always told me to just be a good person and to always work hard and one of the things I really want to do is work really hard and put out more videos for you guys. It is hard with school and everything and sometimes when family things like this come up but that is one thing I really want to do. And one thing that I really enjoyed uh, to the fullest this month is my family. So thank you uh, for all of my family and especially my family that watches my videos and supports me. Hi, I love you. <laughs> so in the month of October I was introduced to not only one but two hair products that I have fallen in love with and I really do not think I can live without. And usually when you have curly hair so many people ask me what kind of products I use in my hair and I bounce around but I'm definitely staying with these ones. The first product is um, by Bedhead. It's called Creative Genius. Both of the products are Bedhead and you can kind of see that there's a little bit left. I'll do a close-up but this gel is so amazing. I always love a gel that I can be able to put in my hair just by itself and it'll be able to hold and not too crunchy. Um, and this actually has sparkles in it and it makes my hair really shiny. It looks really healthy when I use this. This is pretty pricey at Target. It's about $17, but I literally still have a little bit, like a little smidgen left. And I know that I use this all through the month of October. So this literally lasts me for about a month and I think uh, for how much I use gel in my hair basically every day, this is definitely worth the money, especially if you have curly hair like that. Uh, like I said, you can get this at Target. The only bad thing I would say about it besides it being, you know, a little pricey would be that it's uh, pretty thick on my hands, but it, it is dried on my hair. It doesn't get sticky, but on my hands it's super sticky. I have to wash my hands every time I use this like after I use this. I definitely am going to be a loyal customer to this and I am so in love with this product. The next product is also Bedhead and this is the hairspray that I use with it. It's Bedhead Masterpiece and this was the breast cancer awareness for the month of October can and I love the smell of this. I haven't been able to smell the actual Bedhead Masterpiece. I'm pretty sure it comes in a blue can but I know that I am in love with the smell of this hairspray. It smells so good and once again both of these products I feel like are really controllable like if I um, wanted to have a lot of like coverage like if I'm gonna go all day and the winds blowing or um, it's humid or something like that I know that I can use both of these or I could use these separately and my hair will still um, look great especially when it's uncontrollably curly so I definitely love this product once again this is a pricey product but you can, I don't know if you can hear that, <laughs> but there's still some left in here. I probably use hairspray, I probably use it almost every other day or every day. It just depends what I'm doing or how much, how much I'm using always depends on what I'm doing. And uh, this is about $20, totally worth it. I can, I go through hairspray usually in two weeks and this is still lasts me for a month and there's still some in there so really happy that there's still some in there and I hope you guys check out these products especially have curly hair uh, if you don't have curly hair and you just need really good like a really nice hold I still recommend this because I feel like it's a really controllable hairspray yes bedhead products and the next product I wanted to talk about was 
uh, makeup product that I use all the time. I'm wearing it right now. I wear it every day. And it is this NYC powder palette. And it's a mosaic uh, face powder. And this one is 724A All Over Bronze. Now this is about $4. I've probably used this for the whole month of October. I've just um, hit pan, which is a makeup saying of when like you hit the middle part of your uh, little container. I just literally hit pan, which I'm happy about because I would have thought I went through this. I guess I'm really into products that I can control because this I use this all over my face but I also use it to kind of like um, contour my face sometimes so really appreciate this product and definitely worth it and one of the best drugstore um, face powders I've ever used. The next product I want to talk about is this lipstick that I swear every time I wear it um, people ask me where I got it and I love telling them because it was three dollars cheap and is good quality which is something you don't normally find in those two words put together but this is a lipstick by wet n wild in love with this shade um this shade might may not be for everyone uh i'll do a close-up at the end of this this shade is 915b spiced with rum and it's like a pale burgundy color and it comes on matte and even though it doesn't last very long, it's smooth and I think it looks great and it's not messy. It's not one of those lipsticks that are really sensitive or, and it's not one of those lipsticks that like stick to your mouth and you just, you just make those <laughs> nasty faces because it just feels so thick and so heavy and permanent on your lips. So you do have to reapply this throughout the day, but for $2, $3, it's okay if you run out soon, but I have not ran out of mine yet. I've had it literally once again the whole month of October, and I recommend getting this. Uh, you can get Wet n Wild almost anywhere, and yep, this was $3, so I definitely recommend this. My next favorite was actually a book I haven't been able to read lately because I've been doing so much schoolwork. It's seriously unbearable how much schoolwork I've been doing, but luckily I've been reading this book. It is by a blogger. Her name is Leandra Maydean, and this Man Repeller is the name of her book and also the name of her fashion blog. And may I say, I mean, as many as other people I can imagine saying, her blog and her outlook is a breath of fresh air. It is so humorous and so down to earth. One great thing about her being so humorous and down to earth and still insanely fashionable and her just like outlook of fashion is really refreshing because you just see so many people with this romanticized view of fashion so strict and so like uptight about fashion and I love that she doesn't follow the rules because I hate rules in fashion as well and it's just nice to kind of read into fashion when you feel like you know them, not someone that uh, is untouchable. Even though her style is untouchable, but uh, I definitely recommend this. It's a very quick read, really funny. It goes through all her stages of life and um, her fashion picks and how they didn't work and how some worked in their own ways. Definitely a great, great read. Um, I recommend this anybody who likes humor and anybody that likes fashion. my next favorite is this necklace and if you're in the Pittsburgh area there is a truck that goes around called broke little rich girl I've mentioned it in one of my videos before I did pick this up a couple weeks ago and this was $16 and I haven't really bought something with so much color on it at once I really liked to pop this on not only just to give something some color but also to kind of differentiate like the style that I'm wearing. Like I really like to wear um, kind of like harder things like leather and like a hard print and then throwing this on because it kind of throws everything off and gives it something new, something less predictable. So definitely check out her truck. Um, I'll link her website down below so you can see where she's at. She does events all the time. Love this necklace. Think it's great for $16 check her out in the Pittsburgh area. Okay, my next favorite is 
actually something I received for my birthday in July, but they were way too big. Um, so they needed to be sent back, then they came back again, and I was able to actually wear them in October, but I've waited since high school to actually get these. So those couple months in between really wasn't that far of a stretch because I've waited so much. Um, my white Doc Martens, I am so in love with them. I literally have wanted these since high school. These were a gift for my birthday and uh, they were too big in July, which is when my birthday is. And I actually got the new size this month. Thank you so much. You know who you are, who bought these for me. Um, I really hope I have these for the rest of my life. Um, I'm really going to take care of them. <laughs> I've worn them a couple of times already and they were really um, stiff. I really didn't expect them to be that stiff, but once again, when you love something, you just don't care. And the more I wear them, they definitely are broken in now. But yes, these were one of my favorites. And I didn't buy these, but these were about $120. And I don't know how much the shipping was, but definitely worth it. Doc Martin is a great quality shoe and uh, depending how you take care of them they'll last for a great while so really good investment if you're into this type of shoe or style. One thing I really wanted to talk about that's kind of off the wall is music. I always talk about to people that I know that I go through like phases in life of different genres of music and lately I've been listening to so much girly pop but independent music so I've really been listening to a lot of Ariana Grande. I'm completely in love with her voice. So happy she's coming out of the Christmas album. It, like I think I'm more excited for Christmas just so that this album comes out. And the new Katy Perry Prism album, I love every song. I literally think every song that she does could be a song that plays for the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Then I've been listening to a lot of Gwen Stefani. Actually, I've been listening to a lot of early 2000 women, people like uh, Shania Twain, Gwen Stefani, uh, Janet Jackson back in those times, Jennifer Lopez. I've been so obsessed with all those women and all these uh, poppy women records back in the day. So it's getting dark. These This daylight savings thing is completely thrown off my video filming. It gets dark so early and I'm really sorry if it's really then, dark. I will be filming really soon. A Kardashian lookbook. I, as much as I don't watch the show anymore, I still love all their styles because it really embodies who they are. And I'll be doing a look of um, Kim, Courtney, Chloe, Kylie, and Kendall. I hope you guys like my favorites video. Let me know down below if you want me to do another favorites video or any other suggestions, lookbooks, or even um, style inspired celebrities or personnel. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great November. Oh my gosh, it's actually snowing right now. All right, bye.